The structure I am working on is the square vignette box from Tim Holtz. I already laid down one layer of faded jeans, the distress paint, and this is my second layer. Let's create a second layer. I am putting down a very thin layer of white acrylic paint. I am doing this with a brayer. And then take your stamp set. In this case, I am using the ledger script and stamp randomly on your structure. To give your project a little bit more of a texture, a little bit of a grungy look, you can use the grit paste opaque. For this chipped paint effect, you don't need any fancy tools. Uh, maybe you already noticed, but I am just using my fingers to apply the product. Make sure to dry your layers in between, and this is what it looks like up close. For the chipped paint effect and the worn look, you really need a lot of layers. The next layer will be about Vaseline. I am using a sheet of waxed paper. I did put down a thin layer of Vaseline and on top of that there will be a layer of acrylic paint, the peony pink. After the sheets have dried, I cut them up in strips. I am using some collage medium and gluing the strips down on the place that I prefer. Give the strips a good rub to be sure they will adhere right. After you peeled off your first round of waxed paper strips, it is time to see if there is any paint left on the strips. And when so, you can still use them and glue them on the spots that you prefer. In the first round of gluing your strips down, the Vaseline is working like a release. In the second round of gluing down your strips, there is less Vaseline. Which means that after drying and peeling off the strips, there is a chance that pieces of the wax paper are adhered to the structure. I do not mind, because I really love the extra effect of grunginess. Now let's make a layer with stamps. I am using the stamp set from Tim Holtz, the Field Notes stamp set, and I am using the Archival Ink Watering Can. Why a grey ink, you may ask? Uh, I think black will be too harsh, and the grey is just a little bit softer for the background.
I am going to cover up some little areas with the peony pink color and I am doing that with just a scrap piece of sturdy paper. Just dip the edge of your paper into the paint and scrape it off on the structure. Next I am getting out my Vintage Photo Distress ink pad and I am rubbing it on top of the paint layer, wetting it with some water and then some Walnut Stain Oxide Spray just to randomly put it on the edges and on the corners. There is already a lot on there, but I am going in again with some paint. This time it is a lighter pink and uh, I'm still using the same technique with the piece of paper and scraping it off on the structure. Last step is to bring in some blue again, the faded jeans distress paint and I'm just rubbing a thin layer over the whole side of the structure. The very last step is using a multi-tool. This tool comes with a variety of setup pieces and you can think about sanding or drilling. Choose one of the tools you would like to work with and just try it on a small area to see if you like it or dislike it. I hope you got some inspiration out of this video. When you do, please like, comment down below or subscribe to my channel. You can also support my work by becoming a patron. I will put the link down below in the description box. Mm -hmm.